Hey folks, welcome back to Trailmakers. Uh, last time we found ourselves this fancy little diving bell. And uh, I think it's time for us to build a working sub. Uh, I'd like to give Umbra76 a quick shout out for pointing out that you can throw some, uh, some lights into the build space and give yourself a good working environment, even when the sun is down in the outside world. So you can see here, uh, we have great visibility on our contraption here, despite the fact that it's the middle of the night. Uh, a really cool tip there. Uh, obviously, before we complete the build, we'll have to delete those. But uh, for the time being, gives us something to work with. So we've got connection points on the left and the right, the top, the bottom, and the rear. And what I'd like to do here is build something that not only can survive in the water, uh, it looks like we've got two little ones on the front as well, not only can uh, dive and maneuver in three dimensions in the water, but also is capable of retrieving blocks found on the ocean floor. So uh, the first thing we're going to do is build a sort of a frame around a collection area. Um, and then we'll worry about things like buoyancy and stability and propulsion. But yeah, the first thing I want to get going here is some sort of uh, some sort of collection area. Now, one thing to point out is that uh, aerodynamics We'll also have a uh, hydrodynamic impact, and so we can use this to determine how much drag we're having on the front of our vehicle from water instead of air. So we do want to keep that in mind. Uh, I think we, might, we need a nice wide collection area, just because there may be some... Uh, if there's a super heavy one down there, that could be a whole different kettle of fish, but we want to be able to get the medium-sized ones in addition to the small ones. So let's start out with some uh, aerodynamic blocks here. Let's go ahead and uh, I am in mirror mode, or I should be. Let me turn that on. Okay. So let's go ahead and get something like this going out here. Uh, just so we have a wide area to, to work with. Um, so from here, we'll go ahead and head back. Let's get something like the 1x3 block out here and start working on that. And I want, yeah, like a nice big collection area here. Uh, so let's start cloning these. And something like this should be big enough to capture all but the absolute hugest of the, uh, of the blocks. So let's work with this. Let's see how close this gets. Uh, we've got overlap here, so we're going to need a pair of twos. Okay, and then uh, we're going to definitely want to have center mass on whatever we pick up. So we want to be able to adjust our collector uh, to be able to position it in the center here. So I think we'll go ahead and um, we'll use some pistons here, I think, as we have in the past. There we go. Uh, and w I guess that should be enough since it's already sort of in the middle. Hmm. So if we squeeze those in, they'll be right about there and we'll have all of this space to, uh, to maneuver with. I guess this is fine. Maybe I should make this a little bit longer so I could have two of them. No, it's probably fine. Uh, let's go ahead and configure both of these to have a start position of zero. And I think the default controls are fine. And then we'll stick a tractor beam on the end, again with the default controls. So, the idea is we land this thing, uh, we land this box around whatever it is, turn this on, adjust it to however we need it for the mass, and then collect our goodies and go. I think I will actually uh, extend the range here a little bit. I'll make it a little bit longer. Maybe two. No, three should do the trick. Okay. Okay, so there's our basic shape. Um, of our vehicle. This thing is going to side through the water, settle down on top of some kind of uh, block, and retract it. Now, 
Obviously, we're not going to be able to get out of the water with this, so we'll have to take it to a convenient beach and then switch over to something like Monsieur Elephant. Uh, or what is what did I call him? Uh, Elefante... Something something? <laughs> I can't remember what I named it. Uh, but we'll have to switch over to another vehicle to actually get out of the water. Uh, but this should let us carry things pretty far up. Now, uh, we're going to need... The next thing we're going to need is stability control. So... Where do we mount it, right? Where do we mount it? Uh, I think we probably stick it somewhere on the interior here, and uh, we'll just use a we'll just use a couple of um, uh, helicopter engines here. So these are both 5.6k. Uh, two of these cost three engines, or two two power blocks, and the stackable ones cost two as well. So it doesn't really make a difference. Let's get this positioned. In fact, you know what? We can actually put it right on the side of the uh, the block, the uh, tractor beam here. Do we want to do that? Do we want to do that? I suppose it's fine. As long as we're close to center mass, it should be fine. Center mass is currently pretty far forward, but we can fix that. The other alternative is to stick them more over on the... Uh, put them somewhere like this. Maybe that's better, because then we can move them around without worrying about them being attached here. Uh, what we will need, however, is an angle sensor or two. And we need that to be... We need that to be... Uh, I'd prefer not to have two of them. I'd like one of each. Uh, so the forward-backwards rotation would be controlled by the angle sensor. Let's go over to logic and see about this so it needs to be we just need one of these and it needs to be set up in this orientation so we can't rotate it like this it won't work uh for for balance purposes it might be a good idea to have two of them i'd like to i don't think yeah there's not a good way to get away with having just one is there uh if we have equal balance and mirroring so this should be fine, like this. We'll configure both of these. Uh, so we want the direction to be 90. We want the width to be 180, right? And then as this one, let's see, how do we do this? This one is gonna control both of these that direction. And then this one, controls both of them with a negative one direction. Ah, okay. Hold on. I need to go out of mirror mode for a moment. So that's a one. That's a negative one. And they're both controlling the same one. So, uh... I think that's correct. We might need to reverse the direction on these. Uh, actually... If these are mirrored, I need one of these to be turned around, don't I? I think. Yeah, they need to be facing the same direction. So there's, there's a, if you look at the edge here, there's a circular edge. It needs to be on the right on both, so that they both, when one of these angles triggers, they both need to rotate in the same direction. Uh, I'm not sure if this is going to work at the moment, but um, we will test it out in the water uh, shortly. So that handles pitching. Now we need to think about uh, uh, weight, buoyancy. So we're gonna need some buoyancy control devices on here. Probably gonna need a few of them. Let's make sure we're back in mirror mode. And let's pick, uh, let's just start loading these up. I don't know how many we'll need. We're at 240K. I guess we'll start with eight and see how that feels. Okay, they're not attachable on that side. Uh, they have to be, they have to be set somehow. Uh, on the bottom, okay. There we go. Now I could put them on the interior actually. 
That may make more sense. That gives me space for... We may have to move this around, though. Um... So if we do something like this, we'll have to see how this how this handles. We may have to re readjust some of this uh, positioning. But that gives us a nice eight pieces of... Uh, well, but then I, then I lose all the space I set up for collecting a, a block. And we might have to be moving these around, so... Yeah, let's put them on the outside. That's fine. That's collected. All right, so there's our uh, there's our buoyancy control. We may not need that much. I'm not sure yet, um, but we are going to want to put something in the front of this to adjust for the aerodynamics. You can see it's orange there. Uh, so let's get an aerodynamic block here. Maybe something like this. Okay, so we've got a pretty wide vehicle, but it's fairly aerodynamic at the moment, and it's got stabilization built in, right? Looks like we might want to replace these. I suppose technically we can leave it open, right? We don't we don't need a rear per se. Uh, so now we have to think about propulsion and steering and then we have to go test this thing out. Hmm. Okay, so propulsion obviously we only have one option here which is the underwater propeller. Uh, let's go ahead and get this set up. We'll start with a couple on the interior. Like so. That's enough to be moving along, uh, but we probably want a little bit more than that. Um, so we'll grab this and copy it to the outside. No, we're, there's no attachment point there. I guess we can put one underneath as well. And if we get... Hold on, if we get one more block here... What is that, a three? Let's go ahead and get a two instead. Or, yeah. We'll get a two here. Like this. And then we'll rotate this one. Okay, so we get that. Uh, we bring this one around to the inside. Is that going to impact our... That's going to have a little bit of impact on our space here, so we'll, maybe we'll move these back a little bit. We can move them back by one. Move these back by one as well. And actually, that means I could replace this block here with an aerodynamic one, like this. Okay, so that's that's an attachment point for everything for the four for the four propulsion. Um, now we need to think about steering. So is there is there an attachment point here on anything on the outside? There is. Okay. So if I do something like this, hmm. No, I don't need that. I can just have the hinges directly then. Okay, so we'll go ahead and. Where are the hinges? Here? Right? So, turning right is green. That looks good. Let's put a couple of uh, propulsions on here, or propellers. And this should let us turn a little bit, I think? Maybe? We should be able to turn those. So, okay, so this is a pretty wide vehicle, but it should be able to push us through the water, I think. Uh, we've got decent, decent hydrodynamic setup. Six engines to propel. We've got the uh, ability to retrieve objects. We've got auto stabilization. So I think this is a good as, as good as any a time to try this out. Um, I think we will go ahead and color this all in. A nice, fun, oops. That's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to click the coloring. 
Uh, what's good for underwater here? Um, maybe something bright yellow? Submarine-like? With, like, teal highlights? Sure, why not? That looks, that looks subby to me. Uh, what was this? How did that get moved? Where did that come from? Let's delete that. Okay, uh, let's delete the lights now. And here's the final view of our first build. Dang it. <laughs> here's the final view of the first build. Uh, since the start of the playthrough, when I didn't have the diving bell, of a potential sub. Uh, so, given its coloration, I think we'll name this uh, something fun like the clownfish, I guess. Clownfish works. And let's go ahead and stick this on our... Where do we want this? Probably in place of our jet for now. And uh, we'll have to see if it works. Uh, okay, I see one, one error right away. We need to disable the controls here because they should only be controlled by uh, the, the angle sensors. And we can push this out to wherever we need it. Pop that on. Pull this back. Oh, okay, we do have a problem here. It's the buoyancy thing. That's another problem. All right, so we need to change the controls uh, on the pistons here to use different uh, different maneuvers to go in and out. So I'll use the right and left buttons instead. Right to extend, left to retract. Save. Okay. So I can push this out, turn it on. I can readjust it wherever we need it. There's a, there's a good amount of space there to pick something up. And then, obviously, there's our buoyancy control. We'll have to see how this plays, but let's get into the water and give it a test drive. All right, I'm... <laughs> uh, all right. So right off the bat... Uh, so it's a little nose heavy, it looks like. It's tending to nose down. All right, let's try, let's try out the auto stabilization. Let's let our, uh, let's let ourselves sink. And yes, we're nose heavy. It seems like the sensors are not controlling the, not controlling the, uh, the stabilizers very well. All right, let's, uh, let's check out our center of mass here. We probably want to move it. Oh, we're actually pretty close around it for the, for where the, uh, the helicopter engines are. Let me turn off mirror mode and do this manually. Make sure I'm getting, I'm getting this right. So, uh, when this fires, when this angle, uh, when the ship tilts forward and this fires, we want it to engage those two engines. And it seems like it's currently doing that at a 1.0 output. That seems right. This one is controlling those two at a negative one output. So why isn't it working then? Um, what about the controls here? Speed 5.0. Let me power this up. Ah, there we go. They were counterbalanced. Again, because of the mirroring. All right, let's save that. Try it again. Okay. Now, are the... They don't seem to be firing the helicopter engines. I'm not sure why. What have I done wrong here? So... When the ship tip tips forward, that should engage. When the ship tips forward, oh, they, they should both engage. Okay, so we do need one reversed here. Uh, this needs to be 90. There we go. So when the ship tips forward, this one engages. When the ship tips backwards, this one engages. Let's save that. Maybe they were countering each other out. Maybe that's what was going on. We you, you, like I got a I got a, a one signal from the other and a negative one signal from the first, and so they they just didn't do anything. 
Okay, now we're now we're seeing some action, but it's a little bit too much. Uh, let's let's put this way down here, back down to like I don't know what's a good number three. Sure, let's try three. See how that works. Okay, so they should be attempting to. What's it doing? Is it flipping me upside down? I think it's flipping me upside down. All right, so that means I've got to reverse the values. So this one gets positive one, and this one gets negative one. Okay, and now we go sink down. And we're stable. And we can turn and steer. All right, we've got a functioning sub. How about that? Now, I can't deliberately aim downwards. I can't pitch myself against the uh, against the auto stabilization. Uh, but I can rise or sink using my flotation devices, my buoyancy control. So, is there an altitude sensor? I guess there's not. Uh, I'm noticing something else we need right away. All right, let's get back up to the surface here. So, rising and falling is going to be slow because we can't pitch. But also, we need some lights on this thing. So, I'd love to be able to pitch my nose down somehow. With the auto stabilization in place, though, that's not going to be easy. Let's take a look. Uh, what can we do to improve this? How would we go about... We could... Alright, so we could we could get rid of the stabilization and put, put hinges on these instead. Uh, we could put hinges on these so that they can angle up or down. That would let us manually control our pitch. I wonder how good that would be. Hmm. I mean, we can we can sink, but it's slow. So I'd like to find a way to change that. I'm thinking here. So if we get rid of if we get rid of these, or I could put in a way to turn them off, I suppose. But we still wouldn't have pitch control at that point. Uh, we could use some fins, maybe? Some fins, uh, like we, like we used on the plane? That could be interesting. I wonder if I can just, like, set the sensitivity way down here, or set the power way down here. Let's try a speed of, uh, 0 0.5. And see if, like, uh, if I can overcome the stabilization. So they're very weak right now. Yeah, now I can kind of control... I can just use basic... Now it definitely wants to sink on its own. Okay, so I need it a little bit stronger than that. Let's try one. It's definitely having trouble here underwater. So really, we want something that kind of stabilizes us automatically without me having to add anything to the stick. So we need it a little bit stronger still. We'll try 1.5. So when we... Yeah, okay, so when we're lifting up with buoyancy... 
Yeah, that's definitely not enough. When we're lifting up with buoyancy, the fact that the uh, there's so much more buoyancy at the rear is dragging our butt up. So that's another problem, is that we've got our buoyancy off-center to the center of mass, which is right about in the middle of this one. So actually, if we just delete these two rear uh, buoyancy controls, that might fix that. That might let us put some fins here, too, if we decide we need that. Uh, while I'm in here, I'm also going to throw on some lights. Now, let's get something going there. These are not going to be aerodynamic, but what can you do? So there's a little bit of light going forward. Um, I think it makes sense to put a couple more, the, like, here. Aiming down. That seems fine. And then maybe... I guess that's fine for now. Uh, let's save that. Let's test this out. Well, I, I think I still need more stabilization. Yeah, we're still, we're still kind of uh, nose heavy here. Let me power this up a little bit more. We'll try three, see if this is too much or, or just right, I guess. Okay, so now it's definitely stabilizing us, even as we rise and fall. Uh, but now it's too strong and I can't make myself dive. So it's somewhere between where we were and where we are. So let's try two. Yeah, so I still can't really... control myself. I can point myself down a little bit. And I guess I can point myself up a little bit as well. Alright, so that's probably good enough. Uh, I don't know how far down we want to go here. Oh, we're well outside where we should be. How much speed do we have? Okay, so I also don't have a roll, a, a way to fix this roll issue. I'm rolled to the right here. But hey, we're exploring the sea floor for the first time. That's interesting. We've got some... Some plants here. Interesting. Okay. We can pretty much... I mean, we've got a functional sub. It's not exactly where I'd want it to be. But it's doable. Or it's usable. I wish there were more powerful lights. Um, I think we need just a skosh more power on these. Let's go to 2.3. I'm still, like, having trouble, sta like, getting stable or uh, getting the pitch automatically corrected for myself. Uh, we also don't have a roll stabilization, which I would love to have. But we would need two more angle sensors and two more helicopter engines to make that work. So, I don't know. Maybe maybe we'll just try this out for a while. Okay. So where are we going here? Oh, we're 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 way too far out. We need to go up. So yeah, it rises pretty slowly. I've got the uh, I've got the things inflated, but we're just rising really slowly here. We need to get back into uh, the main map here. Okay, so things I would like: roll control, uh, better pitch control. Um, speed is okay for now, but yeah, roll control and better pitch control would both be things I would like. So I'll have to work on this design to kind of fix that up. I'm okay with our yawing and our speed at the moment. I'm actually okay with all of that. So really, we just need better roll and pitch control. Roll stabilization maybe, or maybe... 
Maybe just some control surfaces I can use to, to manage that. Hmm. Okay. Well, we at least we have a functional sub. It's not perfect, but it's working. We're slowly rising. Uh, let's take a look at what's what's available here for us. What do we have underwater? Um, should I? Maybe it's maybe it's better if I just go into just teleport into land and start over, because we're way out here. I think I was aiming for this thing originally. You can actually see the shelf that we're on on the map too. That's interesting. Uh, all right, let's uh, let's teleport back over here. We've got some we've got some work to do on this on this build, but uh, I would like to collect at least one block. So let's see. This is 127 meters below us. All right, let's set up our salvage point there. Looks like we can see it over there. All right, let's go down, get in the water, and try this again. Okay, all right. You know, it's got it's got some moves. It's not terrible. I definitely want to put some work into it, but it's not terrible. Not by any stretch of the imagination. It's definitely sufficient for us to retrieve blocks. Uh, I probably want to put a bunch more lighting on it, too. Okay, so it's still 113 meters below us, so it's down in this trench, I think. I see it. I see it. Okay. Oh, I see a number of things here. I oh, wait. Some of this isn't. Some of these aren't blocks. They're just. They're just gold. Let's start sinking. It's behind us, actually. So is it in a like an underwater cave? Down at the bottom here. Yeah, a lot more light and some better control surfaces, and this thing could be fantastic. Okay. It's down here somewhere. We gotta get down to the bottom. I think there's gotta be like an underwater cave down here or something. I can't see much at the moment. Alright, let's start exploring. Is this a... I can't see. Is this a cave entrance? I wonder, if I dump a bunch more lights on here real quick, is that going to be... Can I get into mirror mode or not? I can. All right. Let me just dump a bunch more lights on here real quick. Can I stack them one on top of the other? I cannot. Okay. Uh, so there's some lights. Let's get a few more going here. Right? And then where else could we put a couple? We take this whole crew here. And, well, if we put it on the bottom, I guess we, we do have... We do have uh, one block of space here. Alright, let's, let's do something like this. And then let's throw some... Let's throw a few more up on this bad boy. So they're, they're going sideways. Throw a few more up on here. We'll throw this one going forward, mounted forward, and then another one mounted sideways. Right? And uh, I think we have another type of light, right? The headlamp V2. There we go. All right, so we got a lot more light now. That's good. Let's save that. Pop back in. We've made ourselves a little bit heavier, a little bit forward heavy. I think this is a cave entrance of some sort. Yeah, it's very... Okay, I can see the block now. So, we can't... I don't think... Yeah, there's no way we can get in here. Our, our, our design is way too big. Would we need... Would we need... Is there another entrance, do we think? Or... I'm 
I'm pretty sure I can't get in here. Okay, so we, 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 we've, we've miscalculated a little bit with this design. It's too wide to get in here. Uh, I don't see another entrance. There is a power core here. I wonder if I can tweak the... Uh, if I could turn sideways, we could do it. So we need a different... We need a different design to get in there. Uh... Let's take a look at slimming ourselves down for a different kind of a build here. So, if we... Let's delete this. Uh, let's delete... Hmm. We can get rid of these. We can put these on the back so that they still maintain that. We can move this to the front so that we can pick something up, right? Then we move everything inside, get rid of a bunch of the lights. Delete this. Uh, steering's going to be a problem, but we need to get rid of all of this. Um, what is this? This is a rounded 2x4? We need to be even narrower than this, I think. We need to move everything in by at least one block. Maybe two. Now, one block's the most we can do, I think, at the moment. So if we delete this 2x4, then we need another aerodynamic block of some sort. A 1x2, maybe? So everything was connected where? Uh, I don't like my little guy being here. <laughs> Let's move everything away from him so I can actually see. So if we move that in one block, move these in by one block, move everything else in by one block. Uh, I need to find a way to select all this. That's, that's okay, right? Now we're much narrower. I don't know if we'll fit through any of these or not. Uh, what have we got un unconnected here? The lights? Yeah, okay, let's get rid of some of them. This is pretty narrow. It might work. Now we don't have a good way to steer now. So we're going to need to adjust these. Can I get it even narrower than this? I could if I moved all of these down. Or up, maybe, would be better. Yeah, if I move those up. And then... We can move all of this in by one. If I can figure out how to select it. I need to get rid of this. Right. And then we do the same thing over here with this group of junk. And now they're not connected, which is bad, but we can fix that with a block here. Uh, that should have connected to something. 
Oh, I've got this reverted. There we go. Okay, so that's connected. These have to be rotated to connect. Okay, so that's a functional vehicle. Uh, we cannot steer at the moment, unfortunately. So, how are we going to fix that? I guess these guys, we have to be able to maneuver them a little bit left or right. Uh, so... If I turn you sideways like that... Now what are you connected to? Anything? We need you unconnected. And then we need... Yeah, that's tough. That's tough. Alright, so those ones we can't do. These ones, if we put a hinge on, we're gonna... We're gonna have a problem. So how are we gonna steer here? I could make the whole assembly here, maybe, rotate. Or let's get... Yeah, let's get rid of this. And let's put the hinge there. Is that connected the way I think it is? I can turn right and left. I think those are connected. Okay, so we're going to save this as uh, the ca the clown the clownfish uh, uh, slimmy. The clownfish slimmy. I like that. We'll give this a try. We'll see. And we've got the thing on the front so we can stick our nose in and pick it up. Uh, let's color everything. Yellow with the teal highlights. Okay, let's try this. Okay. So we do have a problem, which is that we currently are not able to roll. Or stabilize while we're rolling. Yeah, it's not it's not viable. Hold on. So our center of mass has changed, I think, which is the that's probably the biggest problem. Where's our center of mass now? It's a little bit further back. And that's the best I can do, I think. Yeah, it's just, it's flipping all over the place. Let me lift up. So yeah, our, it, it's, when I turn the buoyancy on, it's, it's just rotating every which way. Okay. Hmm. So we're having real problems with stability here. Uh, I'm not sure why. These, these engines should be doing something. If I move everything back even further, does that, does that help at all? What if I, what if I kick this up into high gear here? Okay, that's working a little bit better in terms of keeping me stable. I can sink. Okay, I can kind of steer this a little bit. All right, where's the salvage? It's behind me. Am I trying to sink down inside this? Oh, there was there was another entry. Okay, hold on. Yeah, the helicopter engines are still having trouble. I'm not sure why they need a higher value here, but they do, clearly. Let's go up to uh, six and a half. Okay, all right. That's a little bit better. That's usable, at least. It's not quite usable enough. 
Uh, let me jack them up all the way. Just force them to keep us straight here as best I can. Uh, this is hitting both of them, right? Oh, you know what it might be? Hold on. Let me turn mirror mode off here. Uh, this one is at 10. And this one... Okay, this one's at negative 10. That's part of the problem, I think. It's the mirror mode giving me giving me problems. Okay. Uh, so I've got them inverted once again. Alright, let's try that. Okay. Too much, too much, too much. <laughs> so, messing with them in mirror mode probably caused problems here. Let's go back to a reasonable speed, like, uh, well, I need to, I still need to make them the same value. Let's make this negative five on both. Okay, how does that feel? Okay, now that feels good. It's still, it's still pretty wobbly, so I, okay. Uh, I, I went, when I went into mirror mode, I screwed this up, which may explain more of what was happening. Uh, let's go to negative 2.3, which is where it was before on the uh, previous version of this build. Save. Try that. Yeah, okay. Okay, all right. Do we have it? We have it. Okay. Let's lift it up. Uh, we might have a little bit too much power on the hinges here. It doesn't, it doesn't steer the way out. It doesn't steer very well. It kind of like flips out when I try to steer. Yeah, so how do I get out of here? How did I get in here in the first place? This is an exit maybe? like it so we're very slowly rising due to uh, the buoyancy and unfortunately I can't nose up and drive myself up so these these two vehicles are gonna need some work I'm gonna need to figure some stuff out but uh, we at least have the capability now to retrieve this so yeah long episode here over the diving bell trying to figure this out I've got more work to do I'm not sure whether I'll do it off camera or not. But the main thing is, I just don't have the control that I want. Also, whenever I, whenever I, whenever I, like, turn my hinges, it starts, like, flipping out. I'm not quite sure what that is. Like, if I push the hinges to the right, it's like, it's like it keeps trying to go to the right. It's like uh, the hinge is turning the vehicle instead of the instead of something else. See what I mean? I don't know if that's so... if that's... I don't know what that is. I guess it's fine, because I can just aim myself in the right direction. So what I need now is a way to uh, control my pitch better while maintaining stability. So I'll think about that. I'll work that out. Uh, and then in the next episode, maybe we'll have something for that. All right, so we've gotten this up out of the briny depths. We can go ahead and... get it up on shore here. Uh, we are gonna have to need... we are gonna need a different vehicle to retrieve it, though. Uh, what do we need? Where's Elefante? He should be able to pick this up. Yeah, I'm gonna have to work on control 
for this. Uh, hmm. That's too deep. What if we pick up our original vehicle? The big one. Uh, where'd that go? What if we take something like this and pick it up with this? We can go back up to the surface. We can rise up, right? And can we can we get this can we get this on land here? We get enough enough a big enough head of speed up, maybe. Yeah. Okay, there we go. Okay, well there we go. There's our there's our power core retrieve. So a very involved, very long episode trying to figure out how this works. We're not I'm not quite satisfied with my either of my subs yet, either uh, clownfish or clownfish uh, slimy. This power core is required for your spaceship. But at least we've got a proof of concept vehicle working that can get down under the water and do some work. Uh, I'll keep working on it. We'll see you in the next episode. Until then, as always, thank you so much for watching. And uh, let me know your comments and your thoughts about these designs, ways I can improve them. Any ideas you might have uh, below the video, I'd love to hear them. And uh, yeah, other than that, we'll see you next time. Take care.